and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And today I am indeed returning to Cryptic Crosswords. Going to have a go at today's Guardian Crossword. Um, last time I did one of these, uh, one of the comments suggested I was going through a bit too quickly. So either maybe I'll slow down, maybe the puzzle will slow me down. We shall see. Um, so let's have a look. One down is a long answer, seven and eight. Over 100 Lilliputians, sadly, accepting love is Mirage. It looks to me there like Mirage is the definition and sadly suggests an anagram. So perhaps we're looking at an anagram of Lilliputians, which is 12 letters. Love is the letter O. Over could be another O, and 100 could be C. Um, and yes, that does make an anagram. So O, C, Lilliputians, O. Anagram that lot for a mirage, and the answer is, here it goes, optical illusion. Let's just have a look at two down. I haven't got any letters, but we'll have a look. Stellar couples, sign book in advance. Stellar might well be the definition there. Or book in advance, pre something. No, I don't know what that is. We'll come back to that. Nine across. Get ready while attracting lots of viewers. I think, yeah, I mean, the... the when you get lots of viewers on TV seems to be the key point of this. That's that's the definition, 5-4. So to get ready can mean the first part of that, which is prime, and while can mean the second part, which is time. So prime time can be used as an adjective as well as a noun, meaning attracting lots of viewers. Now, 11 across, we have the beginning I, seven letters. Pretend one's cool Entering declining years. Um, cool can be ice. Pretend could be imagine. In imaging would have aging in it. Can't quite see that. No, I'm, I'm not really managing to fit fool in that. So again, we'll come back. 13 across. Four letters beginning with A. Time to abandon cabs for central line. Well, cabs is the key word there. Any synonym you can think of cabs could be quite useful, and there's not many. So if you've thought of taxis, that's the way to go. And if time, which can be the letter T in crosswords, is to abandon taxis, that's what you get. Axis, or a central line. Nice, neat wording to suggest a difference between... Uh, two modes of transport in London, cabs and the central line on the tube. Now, 15 across begins with I. Short, slight Arab surrounded by water. Um, I'm not seeing that either. Surrounded by water, islanded or something, but that doesn't quite work. No, can't see that. Let's return to two down. Now we've got a couple of I's in it. Oh, it's those stellar couples. Sign book in advance. To advance can be lend. Um, hmm, no, still not seeing that. I'm wondering about the zodiac with stellar and sign in it. Three down, hairy humanoid, oddly ignoring my meat pie. Well, if you can think of a hairy humanoid, this one that I think is mythical. But if you, the other way of getting there is with the word play, and you ignore the odd numbered letters in my meat pie, which are the ones that appear in first, third, fifth, and seventh, and ninth positions, and you're left with Yeti, a hairy humanoid. Now, four down, exit half cut fin with scarlet jumper upside down. Well, <laughs> It's a quite strange surface, and you're going to have to take all the bits of wordplay separately. The definition here is exit. So if you half cut fin, or you take a half cut fin, you've just got fi left, and the i in the grid helped explain that. 
scarlet, that's red, and a jumper upside down, well, it's not a piece of clothing. It's something that jumps, and the exit is a fire door. So the jumper is a roux, short for a kangaroo, obviously. And that's been put upside down. Now, five down. Mum returns quietly after month in split. Quietly can be the letter P or sh, SH. Mum can be ma or various other possibilities. Month in split. No, I'm not actually seeing quite what that is yet. So let's go back to 11, which now imagine, which we were thinking about before, will fit. Aha, uh -huh. so I'm is ones. You often talk of yourself or fairly formally as one. And then declining is is age and in is cool. So ones is I'm and then you put cool in to enter age and you get imagine, which means pretend. Just about. 15 across ends in an R. Okay, we were thinking about like an island and surrounded by water. There is, of course, an adjective that I didn't think of before for like, like an island, which is insular. And that can be made up of a slight, which is an insult, but it's been made short here. So you just get the first five letters of insult. And Arab can be abbreviated to AR, apparently. So the answer is insular. And now at two down, we have um, this stellar couple's clue, sign a book in advance. And what, what's going on there is the sign is indeed a sign of the zodiac. That's Aries. And book and in, which is the letter B for book and in, advance to the beginning of that. And you get binaries, which are binary stars or stellar couples. That's pretty tough, actually. And I'm not convinced about the wordplay there, that advance can quite mean what it needs to mean there. 16 down begins with an L. Refuse to be buried. But I think we have to think about that being refuse to be buried rather than refuse to be buried. And when you think about refuse to be buried... That's a simple cryptic definition of landfill. I think that works quite nicely because it so looks like a sentence that has to be read as refuse to be buried. Very clever. I do like a cryptic definition when it works and misleads you at first, and that one does quite well. 19 across, raving angrily its cause of hoarseness. Well, the key thing here is to do a letter count. You need 10 letters. Now, raving could be... A, an anagram indicator, and angrily could almost be an anagram indicator. But the point is, find a 10-letter group, and angrily it's is a very useful 10-letter group. Now, with the letters in place, we're looking for an anagram of angrily it's that can mean a cause of hoarseness. So pause if you're taking your time, and otherwise in goes laryngitis. 26 across. I'm going to just need to scroll the clues down to get into the bottom half of the puzzle. 26 across. Old fellows always lacking manners. Rubbish. Well, that's helpfully. We've got the O at the beginning and the L at the end, and rubbish might clue you into this a bit. But the fellows here, fellow can be abbreviated to F, so we actually need two of them after old, which can be abbreviated to O. And then always lacking manners is the word always lacking a word meaning manners, which is ways. So you just get left with the AL after OFF, and that's awful, which is kind of off cuts of meat or on its own rubbish. Now, 20 down, thin umpire in bit of sunshine. Umpire is the clue here. There aren't many words that can mean umpire that are short, but ref is one of them. Now, don't be too tempted by the R at the start. We want to put ref in something. And really, the only word that could then fit is rarify, which means to thin. So thin there becomes a verb in the correct reading. And ray is the bit of sunshine. 23 across. Airily attacked Trump's revolutionary deeds on regular basis. Um, <laughs> Okay, that's quite funny. C 
So to attack from the air is the way we need to think about aerially attacked. And if you know a word for that, this this will make sense with the clue, with the um, check letters. So in goes strafed. Why is it strafed? Well, I think that's because we need to revolutionize or put backwards something meaning trumps and then two letters from deeds on a regular basis so the even letters e and d there and the, the word meaning trumps is farts which is english slang and there's not an english person i know who doesn't think it's funny that president trump has a name that in english slang means fart there we go 21 down violet's neighbor Come on, we've got to be thinking about the rainbow straight away there rather than any woman called Violet. Doing somersaults round island. Somersaults is a very clever anagram indicator. So the word doing, the letters of doing, somersault around I for island, and that's indigo, the uh, neighbour of Violet in the rainbow. 27 across, beginning with G. Development of, looks like an anagram indicator again, Gallstone gutted Victoria for one. Ah, but I don't think that is in fact an anagram. Development is, is this time the uh, definition. And gutted can mean with the insides taken out. So if, if gallstone is gutted, you're just left with G and E. And then you need to add something meaning Victoria for one. So something that Victoria is an example of, not the Queen this time, but the station. And GE with station gives gestation, which is a form of development. <clears throat> so 25 down, and then we could scroll the clues back up if we can do this. Using speech of Sadiq Khan, say, to oust PM. Oh, dear, I don't know what that is. Um, using speech could be oral. Um... Why would that be Sadiq Khan without PM? Not sure. I can't see that, sorry. Let's try 17 down. Nervous sibling consumes pot mostly and heroin. <sighs> There's so many words for pot as a drug, and it can even be other things, of course, as well. Skittish would fit and means nervous. How would that work? Yes, sis, the sibling is consuming most of kitty. It's that sort of pop, not one I was thinking of. And then heroin is H. That's an abbreviation that crossword has become familiar with, even if they're not involved in the drug scene. A magistrate disrobed after firstly cursing out of hearing. Um, no, I can't see that. A magistrate disrobed. That suggests it's the insides of a word meaning magistrate. I don't know enough words meaning magistrate. There's an edile, is a Roman one. But I'm not sure. Let's try 17 across. Put up with some alterations to machines. <coughs> some can often be an indicator of a hidden. And here, hidden in the phrase alterations to machines, is the word stomach which, when it's not being a noun, can mean to put up with. If you stomach something, you stand for it, you put up with it. And that's the magistrate. Let's have a look at 24 across. Communist cobblers in extremely tremulous state. So extremely tremulous is probably T and S. They're the extreme bits of tremulous. But what are the communist cobblers? Trotsky was a communist. Rot is cobblers in the sense of rubbish, slang term. So if you put rot in TS, you've got trots, and then state is KY for Kentucky. Felt quite difficult. And 25 down really does look like oral now, and I'm probably just not knowing something about Sadiq Khan. Why would Sadiq Khan... Oh, mayoral. He's the mayor of London... And if you get rid of the May, the current Prime Minister, from mayoral, you have oral. That's quite a clever clue. And 18 down, so out of hearing, or of hearing at least. This looks like acoustic to me. Now, 
I can see that fits. How did I get that as a possible answer? I don't know. I think it's just sort of subconsciously playing with the words and the clue and their meanings and looking at this. And to me, that's saying acoustic. Now, I haven't even understood why yet, but I bet it's right. So a magistro, so A gives us A. Firstly, cursing gives us C. It's justice disrobed without its first and last letters. And, okay, it's firstly cursing out. So you get the first letters of cursing and out, and then the middle of justice. That's a pretty hard clue, actually. Now, 22 down, women going into loft backwards to make deliveries. Well, loft doesn't have to be an attic, which is about the only synonym of it as a noun. Um, it can be to loft or to sky something or to lob a ball in the air. So if you put lob backwards and put W for women into it, you get bowl, which is to make deliveries. That's a very neat clue, really. Eight down. <coughs> long one this time, H-L-Y-N in the second part of 6-9, awfully shy friend stopped Bob vacillating. And vacillating is probably the most helpful bit of that, it's the definition. Bob, in this case, very rarely includes, do you see this, but Bob translates as the full word shilling, and you have to put an anagram of shy and a word meaning friend into that, and you get this form of vacillating, shilly-shallying. So you've got an anagram of shy, Y-S-H, and then ally, in shilling, shilly-shallying. Ten across ends in an H. Pilgrimage of posh bloke ends in Andhra Pradesh. Well, ends in Andhra Pradesh looks like the A and the H um, of those words. Posh bloke could be you, and then what's the bloke? Two-letter bloke? I have a feeling I don't know my Muslim pilgrimages enough. I only know the Hajj, really. Maybe there's, oh, Umrah. Umrah, I think that's pilgrimage. And Mr. would then be the bloke, and posh is you. It's pretty hard um, for me, maybe more easy for you. 14 across, let's have a look at this. Quite attractive, guards finally stop all disruptive conduct. I'm immediately thinking guards could well be a container indicator. So something meaning quite attractive, guards finally stop, which is the letter P probably, all disruptive conduct. Not quite sure what is what that is actually. So we'll come back to that. Have a look, a quick look at 12 down. Helping discontented barista around coffee counter. Um, hmm. Discontented can sometimes be used to mean having the contents removed. So discontented barista could be B-A. Around could be C for circa. Not sure. I hope we can get these downs. Oh, and this is the one we looked at earlier. Mum returns quietly after month in split. Decamp to split? Deck would be the month. Mum returns is ma backwards, giving am, and quietly is p. That was a lucky thought. Decamp. Now, six down ends in o, so this might be something we could think of the word for. Leader of Greece. Could be G. Picking Europe's uneasy conscience. So an anagram of Europe's with the letter G in it. And that definition would have to be conscience because uneasy is the anagram indicator. And that gives a superego. Um, I wouldn't have necessarily known that a superego was conscience, but it's probably a close enough psychological equivalence. Seven, summons male to move sinuously. Well, move sinuously is, is, you know, the sinuously I don't think is a crossword word. It doesn't mean an anagram. So move sinuously seems to be something we need a synonym for. And if you think about how a snake moves, which is what I think of when I see sinuously, it wriggles or possibly it writhes. And writhe 
can be made up of writ and he, which is summons and mail. So in goes writhe. Now we've just got two left. We've got all their checking letters. I can't even think of a word that fits that without looking at the clue again. A vestal. No. Helping. Ah. Discontented barrister around coffee counter. Oof. So that you do need to take out the contents of barista. That gives you BA. And then you put that around. We have the A at the start. That gives AB. And then you need a word for coffee. And this time counter means running the other way. So that gets reversed as well. That's a latte. And we have the word abettle, which must be a noun from abet, aiding and abetting, or aid and abettle. And finally, hopefully, 14 across, quite attractive guards finally stop all disruptive conduct. Well, I was right. We need a word. Quite is, in fact, the definition of the whole answer. We need a word for attractive that is guarding or putting inside it finally stop, which is the letter P. But in fact, not just finally stop, it's the final letters of stop all disruptive and conduct, which are P-L-E-T. So we put P-L-E-T in a word for attractive and we get a word meaning quite, which is completely. Um, and there we go. That puzzle is finished. Nice puzzle. There are some very difficultly worded clues there, but good fun to do. So thanks for joining us on Cracking the Cryptic. See you next time.